So a year ago, I decided to put myself first in like all aspects of life and a lot of things changed. Doing this whole journey was really hard for me at first because I'm such a softie and I live to make everyone around me happy. So the whole putting yourself first and making tough decisions is something that taught me so much happens outside of the comfort zone. So today I'm just going to talk about most of like the most impactful things that I learned and that I experienced experienced throughout this whole entire year so if you want to hear about it then let's get going I learned how to say no and this is a big one I'm a huge people pleaser and I found myself saying yes to people 24 7 and being miserable for it I literally just couldn't not say yes to people and it was just eating up my time and making me uncomfy. Saying no can feel really mean and kind of harsh and it's just really hard to do but spreading yourself thin and doing too many things for too many people at once is also really mean to yourself and that's something that I didn't really understand so I was just in this cycle of feeling so just like everywhere all at once and not understanding why I was feeling like that but it's okay to be a little selfish sometimes and I feel like that's something that you don't hear a lot but it's true people who genuinely care about you will understand when you say no if you have someone who's constantly asking you for things all the time and when you turn them down they freak out and like think that you're the worst person in the world that's probably someone who's using you and taking advantage of you and doesn't have your best interests in mind because people who really really care about you they'll understand when you say no they'll understand that people get busy or they just even need their alone time and don't want to be with others it's just you start to get a feel for what role you play in other people's lives i guess with this one i really started to see people's true colors and it helped me free up my time a little bit i had to practice saying no and at first i would just make excuses like oh i can't because of this i can't because of that but that just opens up a door for them to ask more questions and it just kind of gets you in this hole so being honest being like you know what i really don't want to get out of the house today i really just don't want to do this thing you'll get to know what kind of people you're dealing with. Saying no is something that I still struggle with a little bit, but I'm getting better. I still get that feeling in my stomach when somebody is trying to get me to do something that I don't want to do, and I'm like, oh my god, if I say no, that will be like so awkward and like weird. But I just do it now. Like I get that feeling and I just do it, and I'm just... I feel relieved knowing that I can make the decisions that I want to make now because I'm not like living for everyone else but I'm still a nice person and I always like to help people you know but you just you just gotta set boundaries for yourself sometimes I gained confidence and this one's a really important one during this whole entire process I decided that I needed to focus in on the things that I needed to work on within myself and one of those was definitely confidence and this topic could be a whole video in itself. I gained confidence mentally and physically and I read books and I read articles and I watched videos on how to love myself and it was mostly, I'm going to be honest, it was mostly my appearance that I needed to work on. I needed to work on being confident with how I looked on the outside and I know that's really like shallow to some people but it's something that I really needed to work on because I, I felt like not loving the way I looked was keeping me from doing certain things and I was just it just made me shy and kind of like a hermit always wanting to be just like in my little shell and not really get out but once I started to gain that confidence and I started to see the things that I liked about myself it was kind of life-changing not gonna lie it was a huge step for me because I was definitely one of those people that every time I looked in the mirror I'd be like wow I'm so ugly every single time and I would just like play it off as a joke like self-deprecating humor all of that and I still do that sometimes you know I'm still human but not as much because what you say about yourself really matters I'm gonna cut myself off right there because this whole video will be about confidence and that's for another time <laughs> but the point is I started my journey to building confidence for myself and it's an ongoing thing and I feel like it always will be it is for everyone confidence isn't something that you're just like oh I found my confidence now I don't have to like you know work on it anymore because I found it so now I'm just gonna keep it and have it forever like it's not like that it's like going to the gym and 
let's say you go, you're going to the gym and you get abs. You don't cancel your gym membership because you're like, oh, thanks for the abs. Now I don't have to come here anymore. You have to keep eating well and being motivated to go to the gym and work on your body. It's the same thing with confidence. You have to feed it and encourage it and grow it and nurture it until it blossoms. So it's something that you work on for your whole life, I feel like. Once you understand that confidence is something that you have to work at every single day, you it starts to get easier, you know, the, the concept of it. You don't feel like, oh my god, I'm never gonna love myself like so-and-so. I'm never gonna think I'm as pretty as so-and-so. Like, it just gets easier knowing that it's something that you have to work on all the time, not something that you find, and it's just like the key to everything and you're happy all the time. <laughs> This one's really important to me because I've gotten the farthest with this one and it's that I started taking my interests seriously. So I knew that I liked makeup and that I liked talking and that I liked art, I liked creative things, but I was just like, yeah, those are things that I like and I never really did anything. I never put myself out there. So when you treat things as a hobby, that's all they'll ever be. I started my YouTube channel and I would just make videos here and there, like whatever and I was expecting to have big results when I wasn't putting in big effort, you know? And that was hurtful to me. When I decided to put more effort and more personality and really try with YouTube, that's when things started taking off. And that was a big wake up call to me. It's like you get what you pay for, but instead you get what effort you put in. So that was something that changed my entire life because now we have 80,000 subscribers and YouTube is my job. I quit my day job and now I just make videos and I'm just really happy, like the happiest I've ever been. I get to be creative and this would have never happened if in August of last year, I didn't decide to make a YouTube video every week and just start to be better. So. That is one of the biggest things that I experienced was, you know, putting myself first led me to all of these amazing things that would like build me as a person and one of them was putting more effort and I just never thought that I would get here and I don't want to get emotional so we're going to move on to the next one. <laughs> So putting yourself first it does have some rocky experiences and one of them is I lost friends and when you start to put yourself first and start being more aware of everything happening in your life, you gain knowledge and things become so much more clear. And it really opens your eyes to who or what isn't contributing to your well-being, to your happiness, to your health. So people operate at different vibrations and you'll start to become aware of who's pulling your vibrations up and who's dragging them down. Distancing yourself and cutting out friends from your life can be really uncomfortable and hard and it just is not fun for anyone. But something I learned through all of this is that life makes you uncomfortable when it's time for you to change, when it's time for you to move on to better things. When you're feeling uncomfortable in life, that means that something's got to change because something's not right. In my experience, discomfort is definitely a sign and cutting off friends isn't easy. It kind of sucks, you know, because you're like, wow, now I have like no friends. But if you just switch your perspective a little bit. Isn't it better to have a smaller circle than to have so many people around you that don't have your best interests in mind or who don't have the best mindsets or who are adding more stress than love and life and happiness to your whole being? So it's actually a good thing. It's just one of the rockier parts of this whole entire journey. And I feel like a lot of people need to get more comfortable with just letting go of things that they don't need because holding on to things that are being damaging or toxic to your life it's it's just keeping you comfortable and that and com comfortable is seen as like such a good word but sometimes comfortable isn't a good place sometimes comfortable it's what is what's keeping you from growing and from getting to the place where you want to be in life so I learned to evaluate the people around me and not all people who are bringing your vibrations down are bad people and that's the part that sucks. 
a lot of the times people who are toxic in your life they're not bad people but they need to get away from you so they can figure themselves out and so you don't have to feel the effects of you know their mindset and their lifestyle and that's just the ugly truth I gained a positive mindset and that was one of the single best things that I have ever done ever when you're in the middle of putting yourself first and just trying to do better for yourself you get on this high and you're like what else can I do what more can I do to make my life even better and that's when I decided that I wanted to adopt a positive mindset and that meant watching videos on the law of attraction on manifestation on positive mindsets as a whole, reading books, reading articles online, just looking at the people that I looked up to and just analyzing their lives and be like, what do you do? You know, that was the best thing I ever did. Learning how to better my mindset led me to learning how to get better coping mechanisms for my bad days and that helped a lot. I still had my bad days. Everyone will always have bad days, but now that my mindset is a bit more positive, I now know when to take breaks and I know how to bounce back from the tough times. I know positive ways to cope and I know what to feed my brain and my body and just the steps to take when I'm feeling really down so I don't go back to my old negative ways. And just like having this knowledge on how to take care of yourself is really helpful for keeping you in this like safe bubble in the bubble of like good you know and like out here is like all of the bad things that you used to do that really just like drag you down even more so having the knowledge on how to take care of yourself and wanting to take care of yourself really helps and i know a lot of us get to those points where we can't do it all on our own and that's where having the people around you comes in that's why i recommended cutting out those toxic and bad people from your life because when you cut those out and let the good people in they will be there for you to pick you up when you're falling and to give you those positive things that you can't give yourself so you'll know what to do other people will know what to do just in case you need someone to fall back on it just all of these things just go into each other and just create a good beautiful mind <laughs> I got brave. A lot of people who knew me in the past would describe me as shy. That has changed. I have really come out of my shell during this whole experience. I used to be super indecisive and honestly to a certain extent I still am. But now that I care for myself and I have a more clear idea of just a lot of things going on in my life, I just make big decisions left and right with no hesitation and it's just because I'm so sure of so many things because I've worked on myself for so long a year isn't a long time but it is you know those decisions that you know you should make because it's what's best for you but you don't make them because they're really scary and uncomfy and you just don't want to <laughs> I can do those now and that is such a relief because now that I've been through it and I've learned how to deal with growing pains and I'm just I don't know I feel prepared because now that I've been through changes I feel like I can do those scary decisions now and I just learned how to get through the growing pains that I know will happen once I make those scary decisions so Basically, what I'm trying to say is taking risks is something that I look forward to doing because I know that when you believe in yourself and when you're not scared of the unknown, just beautiful things come from it. I wish I could just speak better because <laughs> these things are so important and I've just been so scared to film this video because I feel like I'm not a great speaker, but a lot of these things that I've learned are just like feelings and experiences and I'm trying to put them into words because I really want to share them with you guys. Anyways, life offers you amazing things when you step out of your comfort zone and that requires taking risks and risks are not as scary when you think about how you have a one life and it's so short and just you only get to do this once. You only get to live life one time so you better live it for you and you better not regret anything. So that's how I've been living and I feel like I'm young, I'm 18, I turned 19 literally in two days and 
I'm just glad I'm making these choices now because I don't want to be 50 and sad that I didn't do that one thing that I was scared of doing because I was scared. <laughs> My stress levels went down drastically. They still exist, they still haunt me and make me crazy, but at a smaller level that I can control, I'm a huge worrier. The thought of not knowing how things will turn out stresses me and scares the crap out of me and just makes me want to scream. Putting myself first has caused me to learn more about myself and more about life and the things that we can't and can control and that everything will be okay. So it's weird. It feels like there's a weight lifted off of my shoulders because I took the time to understand and want to get out of a place that I wasn't happy with. I feel like I can handle life a little bit easier and everything I've been through in the past year has really helped me calm down and live in the moment something old me would never do currently i'm still such a planner i plan every aspect of my life from when i wake up to when i go to sleep in my planner on my whiteboard in my notes i do it three times i'm still a crazy stress ball but i don't know something changed <laughs> i've met people and i've read books and articles that have taught me that you can't control any everything and that's not a bad thing it's a beautiful thing because the element of surprise creates the most beautiful moments in life and sometimes it's better not to know everything and just go with the flow so i'm still that crazy super precise planner who lets things kind of get out of control when they do so when something doesn't go according to my plan, instead of freaking out, I do more of a mindset like, okay, life didn't want this to happen because maybe I was probably gonna get hit by a tree, a falling tree, if I went through with that plan, so maybe this is a good thing. Maybe that plan getting canceled was a good thing. And I just look at the bright side and keep it pushing. <laughs> Sometimes I don't make sense, but I hope you guys understand. <laughs> I've thought about this a lot and I think if I never started this experiment, this journey a year ago, then I would have never met my soulmate and I can say that confidently. I think that every little thing you do, every turn you make, every place that you go every day matters. The smallest things that you do in life literally determines things in your future that you're not even thinking about. Everywhere you go, every decision, every turn leads you to this exact spot where you are in life and the people that are surrounding you, everything. I really think if I didn't make the conscious decision to see what happens if I put myself first, then I would have never met Zach. The mindset that I had a year ago would have never aligned me and him up together, and I'm sure you can see the same. Building myself up to this mindset and just growing as a person, I feel like has lined me and him up to just me at the perfect time. A partner is supposed to add value to your life. They're supposed to challenge you, they're supposed to make you happy, they're supposed to lift you up and help you be a better person. And I feel like a lot of people can't say that they experience that in their relationships. And that's because we settle and we rush into things before we even love ourselves, before we're whole. Relationships that don't work out happen because the two people are not wholes before they meet. They're both halves and then they try to come together and they don't really fit right because you're not supposed to be half of another person. You're supposed to be two holes that come together and make this amazing big thing that is beautiful. <laughs> I just knew that I couldn't be loved in the right way until I loved myself, until I went through my own battles on my own without having to try to help someone with theirs at the same time and now i'm a more better person <laughs> i just feel like i can 
create my own happiness for myself and he can do that as well so when we come together it's not like fighting it's not problems it's more like we are having the stupidest bestest time on the planet <laughs> and that's all because we have good heads on our shoulders because we've worked on it meeting your soulmate or finding a good relationship is not a priority in life i feel like it's something that just happens out of nowhere when you are searching for a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a partner or whatever it is that's when things go wrong the searching part you don't need to seek out or want a relationship really badly because that's when you'll fall into something that is not good for you so let things happen naturally or just work on yourself build yourself up until you know that you can love yourself first and then try to make a partnership with another human that will be beautiful and amazing because sometimes other people just can't handle um our issues and they'll make us feel like we're not we're crazy or we're dramatic some people are just not made to be there for you you know i feel like we all go through the weird bad relationships um but trust me you'll get to a better place i promise and if you're in a good place already then woohoo that's freaking great i'm so happy for you some of the things that i've learned throughout this past year are just things and experiences that can't be put into words they have to be experienced by you to really really mean something i'm a very emotional person which makes me feel like i'm not a good speaker because i mostly feel things so that's why i say that life experiences are really important and you can probably watch all the videos in the world but until you experience trying to be more confident or trying to find better coping mechanisms or trying to get yourself to a better place in life trying to find motivation whatever it is whatever once you experience that journey you'll know what i'm talking about there's just some things you just can't explain and everybody kind of has to figure it out for themselves sometimes but there are very good tips that i feel like i gave you <laughs> um that can help you out with those journeys this video wasn't at all to brag about how far i've come because i am 18 years old 19 in two days and um i'm not a professional i'm just here telling you things that i've experienced because i feel like i need to tell someone i feel like a lot of people um don't talk about what happens when you put yourself first. If even one thing stuck with you, one word I said, one story I told, if even one of those things mattered to you even a little bit, I feel like this was worth making my butt cheeks numb for an hour. <laughs> I hope this video has given you the opportunity to know how much power and how much control you have over your life because no one told me that even in the most hopeless situations the one thing that can turn your life around is you and wanting wanting is something that's very powerful wanting a better life is a amazing start and it's super duper powerful because a lot of things come from wants actions comes from wants so that is all i have honestly um Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for 80,000. Does that even make sense in your brain? I can't even think. I'm not a math girl, okay? So when I think of 80,000, 80,000 people can't fit in my room. That's crazy. What? <laughs> ah! I love you guys so much. I hope you're taking care of yourselves and having a beautiful week. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.